Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this is lecture number six, and today we shall cover the topics: teacher training, professional development pathway, Beacon House National University, the educators, and uh, Concordia College and the city schools. First of all, uh, we will see that uh, what is the aim. Its aim is to provide a foundation course of professional studies in education. which supports teacher development within the context of school and objectives are that uh, through participation in core program a teacher will develop his or his uh, her or his understanding of the role of teacher the second objective is identify some of the issues involved in managing learning and the third objective is be aware of some of the principle underlying the theory and practice of education and management of learning its fourth objective is uh, demonstration competence in managing learning in the classroom demonstrate uh, an ability to link principles and practice through the process of reflection and analysis and a sixth objective is to show willingness to extend and develop current practice in the search for more effective learning and the seventh objective that is demonstrate a commitment to quality of opportunity in educational provisions in his or her work now uh, what is meant by teacher training so teacher training means uh, we basically we are talking about uh, the teacher training in beacon house beacon house has established a comprehensive in house training program in collaboration with the several uk universities the training department works with university college plymouth street mock and uh, street john to offer teachers two certificates the certificate in prof professional education and the post graduate certificate in professional development teacher can earn a masters at leeds metropolitan university beacon of school system professional development program it has two like uh, uh, two way uh, first is award uh, bearing programs and a certificate in professional education and post graduate certificate like a med and in other programs uh, some need based courses are there induction courses are there foundation courses there curriculum development courses are there subject specific training is there behavioral management courses are there need based training and uh, heads management heads many heads management courses like if you want to become head so there are some courses information communication technology courses are there and career guidance training when we talk about professional development pathway so what does it mean it means that teachers with less than 1 year experience take an induction course and all teachers take the 5 day foundation course which follows the induction course in one of the following areas early years primary and secondary after finishing the foundation course teachers can apply for the certificate in professional education offered by university college plymouth street mock and street uh, john classes for this 120 credit hours or held on 15 days spread over 7 months classes are taught by teachers accredited by the university after finishing the cpat teachers interested in becoming teachers trainers enroll in the two years post graduate certificates and training offered through university college plymouth street mock and street john teachers who pass the pg certificate means post graduate certificates with as distinctions are given up a scholarship to enroll for their mad at leeds metropolitan university professional development path uh, that is means first of all they have to take induction course then foundation course and then certificate in professional education then post graduate certificate and then masters in house trainers what does it mean in house trainers means that the training department provides a professional pathway for teachers interested in becoming teachers trainers it supports the trainer trainees and tutors through their continuous professional development trainees are split into two streams 
like award winning program trainers and school based trainers. The award winning programs trainers schemes last 5 to 6 years depending on the trainee and the trainee observes and teaches classes for two cohorts and each cohort lost 9 months then is appointed a trainer for the third and fourth year of the program. In the fifth year the enrolled trainee is then appointed a tutor so this program is accredited by University College Plymouth Street Mock and Stitch On. The school based trainers program is similar to award bearing program except that the enrollees are trained in house and are only recognized by Beacon House. Now what about Beacon House National University? The group contributed an amount of uh, over 6 million dollars as seed money for the establishment of the non for profit Beacon House National University. While Beacon House was the original sponsor of the university, other stakeholders from the public and private sectors have also contributed generously. Because Beacon House National University BNU was set up in September 2003 and it was based in Lahore and uh, BNU in Pakistan first broad based liberal arts university with faculties ranging from liberal arts and social sciences, media and communication and education to architecture and design, visual arts and information and computer technologies. This is an, an international faculty from uh, as far a field as England, Holland, Canada, France, Germany and other countries apart from some Pakistan's mostly known academics and intellectuals. Now the educators, so this is again a renowned name in education system of Pakistan. This is established in November 1975 as the Los Angeles Montessori Academy for the toddlers. So Beacon House has since grown into the global network of private schools, institutes and universities imparting distinctive and meaningful educations to students from preschools to post graduation. The educators, this is the project of Beacon House has completed 11 years of service to education development across the country with remarkable success. This is established in 2002 that is now has 800 plus campuses and market leaders in the Pakistan education landscapes with the presence in over 2 to 5 plus cities and a student strength exceeding 1 lakh and 75 thousands. This makes the educators outreach the largest compared to any other private schools in the world. The other is Concordia College. This college under the umbrella of Beacon House Scope aspires to offer world class education in an innovative and technology enabled environment at an economical cost. Beacon House, this is the largest and most successful school system in Pakistan. Now the next is city school. When we talk uh, talk about its background, so we can say that until the late 1970s, the provision of English medium education was very limited, with only a few such allied to Pakistan societies. With the denationalization of private schools in 1978, the rental demand of English medium education has been responsible for rapid growth in this sector of education. Its beginning. And established in Karachi in 1978, the implementation and maintenance of regular standards in both academic and administrative spheres gave TCS a reputation for quality education that enabled it to complete with long established schools. The city schools is today one of the largest private school network in Pakistan with branches in all the major cities across the country. It currently uh, has uh, 185 schools and 52 cities in 52 cities almost uh, with over 1 lakh and 26,000 students in 458 owned and uh, franchise schooled. The city schools uh, continues to expand its reach to meet the demands for quality education. The knowledge and skills based curriculum derived from the UK national curriculum guides 
students from Nancy to Cambridge international examinations. For the 16 and 18 years age group, qualifying them for the IGCS, ENO and E level examinations. The uniform implementation of the curriculum gives parents, students and teachers the advantage of smooth and efficient transfer from one school to another within the system. So, this is uh, most important because mostly the people are employed in different organizations and when they move from one place to other place means one city to other city. So, this is this becomes very helpful for them because of uh, their the children's they uh, they don't give uh, don't take any disturbance by shifting their schools from one city to other city. And when we talk about uh, history about the city schools, so we can say that uh, it was found in Karachi in 1978 and it is evolved and grew. Its name came to be synonymously with the qualities of vision, action and change which have made it a unique force in the field of education in Pakistan today. As parents became increasingly discerning in their search for however, forever higher standards of academic excellence for the children. More and more branches of the city schools opened their doors. Progressively, senior educational levels were accommodative with the major emphasis continuing to be placed on the latest teaching techniques and on a curriculum comparable with the best in the world. During the 1980s, the city schools continued to grow nationwide, every new branch subscribing to the common commitment to provide equal learning opportunities for students and to maintain standards of professional excellence in the recruitment and training of teaching staff. Moreover, uh, this latter objective led even the formative years of the schools to the in-service faculty training. So, during this decade, matriculation classes as well as Oxford or Cambridge O and A levels were introduced with the city schools becoming the registered examination center for these British examinations. In 1993, this state of affairs persuaded the management of city schools to initiate its higher education program, HEP in Karachi, in response to the desperate need for such a college. The Northern Consortium of British Universities and the city schools agreed on a number of degrees courses as well as on a one-year foundation course through which second-year intermediate students could obtain A-level equivalent. Establishment of the HEP represents a quantum leap for the city schools and uh, which now caters for students all the way from pre-nursery through the first year of a British degree. Today, uh, the city schools has multiple schools and a continuous expansion program. Prestigious campus of the school, uh, city schools PF chapters currently being purpose built is the newest acquisition of unquestionably a model of its kind. So, this was all about the main point that we discussed. Thank you very much for being with me and uh, if you learn more about uh, this subject, so you can subscribe this channel and inshallah you will get the other videos also. Take care, Allah Hafiz.